Howdy and Frank show asking the question, have you ever been banned from anywhere? This spawns from the story out of Minnesota where two people have been banned from Walmart. Not only in Minnesota, but every Walmart in the country. <laughs> for at least a year. Because they wore swastika mask in the Walmart. They were more like they little swastika flags that they had tied around their faces. But, yeah. As masks. Clipped on their hair or something. But uh, they thought that was a good idea. How do people like that not get their ass kicked? No, I think they go out with an intent to get their ass kicked and then sue you for assault or something. I got my freedom, even though they, they have no idea what they're doing. They're just, yeah, stop, <sighs> stop sniffing glue, people. Seriously. All right, here's Omar. He's been banned from something. That's the question. Uh, what, what have you been banned from? Or where have you been banned from? Business, school, state, country? Hello, Omar. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everything going? We're good. Oh, it's 2020. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, yeah, I was banned from uh, San Manuel, the casino. Yeah. Um, I had taken my yeah. I got I had taken my mom up there because she's like one of those you know older ladies. I like to go just spend some time up there and relax. And so we went up there one time, and um, I was at the slot machine. I was down to like my last twenty bucks. I put it in, and like for some reason, it felt like the machine was just robbing me. <laughs> so I got real frustrated at the moment, and without thinking, next thing you know, my hand is going, and I'm socking the slot machine out, <laughs> and I'm like, oh crap. I, you know, I actually break the machine, the, the screen on the machine, and I go to, I like, I, I'm like, uh-oh. So um, I walk back towards my mom, I find her, and as I look up, I see officers coming from every direction, left, right, <laughs> oh, left, no. and everything. And I'm like, uh-oh. And I'm like, mom, I'll be right back real quick. <laughs> and so they took me to the back. They escorted me to the back. And as I get there, next thing you know, they're saying, yes, yeah, sir, so uh, is this you on the screen right here? Sure enough. Yes, it was, and they showed everything, and I was like, "Guilty as charged, officer." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you will be banned from here on out. Wow. Uh, but funny thing is that I've been back a couple of times, and I haven't, I haven't been messed with. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have all those eyes in the sky there at the casino. I think there's probably not one part of the casino floor that's not being recorded at any one time, and there's uh, people who are behind the scenes watching monitors, and so any kind of banging on the machine is going to get you looked at. So. Do you look different than you did, did then? Did you shave your head and go back? Yeah. Um, I think the only thing different that I had on was a goatee. I, I had a goatee at the time, and or, or like, you know, the, the jawline, and this time, the, the last time that I went with a couple of friends, I was clean shaved. Uh -huh. So... That was the only yeah. difference. But other than that, um, I think they have, like, you know, the, those uh, face identification systems. Wow. In, in those casinos. and But, no, I mean, I was never bugged. Hmm. So, yeah, I, uh, I always go with I my sombrero and life. mustache. Yeah, and I, and that's a good I, one. I get everywhere. Hey. Leave you alone. Right, right, right. Stay on hold, Omar. So, yeah, that's stay, my good story. Stay on okay. hold. Oof, All right. punching out a slot machine. Breaking. Uh, next up in the I Was Banned. Let's go to Tank. Hello, Tank. Good morning, guys. So where were you banned? From the state of Indiana. Wow. A whole state. <laughs> What'd you do? Well, Heidi, you'll like this. I was in a little Mayberry RFD town outside of Franklin, Indiana. Yeah. And I was, I was like two months shy of 17 years old, and it's snowing, and I'm speeding down the highway, and I ran right through a flashing red light. Well, I just kept going. I had no idea that a state trooper was sitting in the parking lot and saw me do it. So I'm moving on down the road, and I come up to the next town, and there's a roadblock, and I thought it was an accident. Next thing I know, I'm at gunpoint. I guess the, the state trooper that was chasing me was going faster than I was, and he rolled his car into a cornfield. So they arrested me, and they put me in jail. They never gave me a phone call. They thought I was 18 years old. Five days later, when my dad finally found me, he, he filed a complaint because they violated my rights because I was still a minor. So they made a deal with my dad. They took me to in a car in handcuffs to the Indianapolis airport, walked me to the, the jetway and said, <laughs> uncuffed me and said, get on the plane and don't ever come back to me. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. So basically, because the cop was chasing you, lost control and rolled his car into a cornfield, they thought that you were running from the police in a high speed chase. Right. Oh, wow. And I guess he, he got hurt pretty bad. So that's why they held me for, you know, they were holding me. Damn, with Tank. No phone call. All right. I think Tank actually beats Omar as far as punching a. a, a, a... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, sorry, Omar. You mm-hmm. lost uh, right now. To Good story, tank. though. All right. Stay and hold, Tank, okay? All right, next up in the I Was Banned face-off. If you've ever been banned from something, give us a call, 818-955-KLOS. The current leader has been banned from the state of Indiana, which is like the Walmart of states. <laughs> we could say that because that's... Uh, yeah, that's where we're from. Yeah. Hello, Albert. <laughs> hey, what up, guys? What to do? Well, where were you banned and why? Dodger Stadium for sneaking in beers and a bunch of beach balls. Oh. Uh, was they cans of beer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where were you hiding these cans of beer on your body? Uh, my waistband. Your waistband? I mean, are you a heavy guy? Yeah. No, 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 I'm not heavy. It's like, plus I'd wear a Dodger jersey and everything. So yeah, right, like, so like, baggy like, jersey. Baggy. So you had a, 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 yeah. a belt that was like a bandolero where you had all the, like, these cans, <laughs> like this, like, yeah, like it's bullets? Yeah, uh, it, it's, actually, I've done it so many times, it's, it's like, I, it was like nothing, and so I just had my beers in my, my back How'd waist. How'd they bust uh, you? Was balls. this pre-pat down or what? No, actually, that's what's weird about it. It's like, almost every time I go, they always, uh... For some reason, I always get asked to lift my shirt for whatever reason. I have no idea why. So right when I get to the line, he said, oh, can you lift your waist or lift your shirt? I was like, shit. <laughs> so I lift it up, and they see, uh, they see, they see one beach ball, and uh, they're like, okay, sir, take that out. I was like, all right, cool. I thought they were done. Like, all right, sir, sh- sir, lift your shirt. Damn it. Pulled out another beach ball, <laughs> and he's all, he's all, all right, sir. And then the line is like, Pa- bagging, uh, packing it up right behind me. Yeah. So I sir, lift your shirt. I was like, uh, I was like, I kind of whispered to them. I was like, you know what? I got another beach ball. They're like, take it out. So I took it out. They're like, that's it. I was like, that's it. They're like, all right, go ahead. They, I, they made me throw them away. So I get inside. Me and my buddies were went to the. We had like the first row in the. It was loge. Mm-hmm. And so, started pulling out the beer, start drinking them. I'm blowing up like five beach balls by then. <laughs> Next <laughs> you know. <laughs> Next thing you know. They, uh, I, I looked to my left, <laughs> ushers, security, <laughs> police, surrounded my whole section just to get me with all the, they're like, grab all your beach balls, grab all your beers, <laughs> let's go. You're so out of here. Me up, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So all my friends are just looking at me like, okay. And so I'm walking up the aisle. Security tells me, like, what's your name? I look at dummy. I say, oh, my name's Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Jesus. I want to go to a game with you, Albert. <laughs> we can start going to games again. We're gonna to go to a game together, okay? Oh, y'all definitely. Hey, yeah. All right, you stay so at home. You, you, you bring the, the beer. Oh, you, oh, the story's still yeah, going. Yeah, I get to the top of the aisle. They take my ID. They take my ID, and he looks at my name. He's like, "Oh, so you're lying to me now?" I was like, "Come on, man! You, you got to know I was lying when I said Kobe." <laughs> and then, uh, from there, they take all my info. They uh, they take everything, and pretty much they kicked me out and said, "Don't ever come back." But, of course, me being me, I've been to the Dodger games, like, I don't know how many times Right. after that. Did you try to sneak like anything back in? added, like, 50,000 people. Huh? Yeah. Did you try to take any more beach balls back in the other times you went? Oh, uh, you know, I, I kind of remember maybe I did, like, once or twice. But, <laughs> Jesus! Uh, beers, beers, I've definitely done that again. And uh, and I got followed by the police after that. And But I just I threw yeah. them away once I got to the bathroom and walked back out. All right, Albert, you stay on hold. Wow. I would never have the balls to do that, ever, ever, ever. Because I assume that I would always be the one that's like, oh, ma'am, can you please lift your shirt? Like, no, that's what you do. You don't do it yourself. I mean, he's always going to ask to lift his shirt, so he should have given it to somebody else. That's like when I was at uh, Coachella. I had I'd taken my son. This is before people took kids. You know, people would see my son there, and they're like, oh, my God, look at that little kid. He's here at Coachella. And I think that was the year uh, ACDC played. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, yeah, he had on his backpack, and I just loaded it up. And we went. I'm He's like, a little mule. Oh, yeah, it totally muled it in for us. <laughs> yeah, because the security person was like, hey, well, I don't even know what to do here. Because they're like, you know, searching everybody else, you know. And he's just standing there looking at him. He's like, I don't even know what to do with you. 
Well, is this your parents? Yeah, yeah. You're going to the show? Yeah. I'm going, All right, get on in there. Just let him go. I'm like, sweet, buddy, you did it. Oh my You're God. a killer. Now get the vodka out. <laughs> did you, like, on top have, like, some Capri Suns and some goldfish crackers? Like, like you make it look like, oh, it's just his little back. No, no, he's walking in. <laughs> I'm like, he's got bells on his shoes. Never know when Grizzly Bear's going to be around. The old Coachella Grizzly. You just oh. never know. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And then they open it up and bust him, and he's like, and you're like, buddy, what did you do? Oh, my God. Did you steal that from the hotel room? What did you do? You said there were just Capri Suns in there. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm probably not going to write any books on parenting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got look at all these calls of people been banned. I'm really proud of our audience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're really living. Tell you what, because the uh, the guys have been on hold for so long, go ahead and give uh, uh, the, the Tank who got uh, kicked out of Indiana. You got to go ahead and give him a prize. Go ahead and give him the uh, one year VIP to HeidiandFrank.com. You can go back and listen to that story being told. Give one to Albert too, and then uh, get Albert's info so I can contact him when Dodger Stadium opens up again. We're gonna go to the game together. <laughs> All right, who's up next? It's uh, Victor. Hello, Victor. Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing? We're good, Vic. All right, so what were you banned from, Victor? All right, so sophomore year of high school, the day before uh, 9-11, I was joking around, goofing around like I usually do, and I was telling everybody that they were going to die and, and you deserve to die. Just joking around. And the teacher just thought I was being a nuisance to the class. You have a very dry sense of humor. Day, yeah. <laughs> School day ends. The next morning I wake up and every channel is flooded with the terrorist attacks. Me being young and still didn't understand. You know, I went on my day, got to school. The teachers are explaining us what crisis we're going through and I still didn't understand. I get to my third period class and my teacher didn't allow me in the class and, and the kids looked at me like I was a weirdo if I had something to do with it. Did you have something to do with 9-11? That class. <laughs> yes, Frank, because yeah, the day before yeah, he said everybody should die. Class, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, five minutes into the class the principal comes with the sheriffs and they escort me to the office and the sheriffs are, 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 you know, asking me questions, and that led me to go downtown to the station, where later on that afternoon the Secret Services came in to to ask me, uh, interrogate me about what did I know and why would I say about that about nine eleven, and so because they're there the day before nine wow. eleven, the next morning all this happened. Uh, he basically looks like he predicted it. And He's, how old were you when this happened? Sophomore. Sophomore. Uh, 15, 16, sophomore in high school. Well, Victor, you stay on hold. That's definitely uh, Jesus. in the running for the band story. People think you're part of 9 11. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dale was banned from the state of Wisconsin. Hello, Dale. Hello, good morning. Another person who's been banned from an entire state. So, what'd you do in Wisconsin to get kicked out? Well, um, started, uh, went down there to uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin to get. Uh, testing from the Marine Corps, me and my buddy, and uh, we did test it really well. So we went down on the street called Third Street, which was all bars, we started drinking. So by one o'clock in the afternoon, we were pretty toasted mm -hmm. and uh, ended up hitting an off-duty cop. And I backed up and took off from there. And at that time, there's two bridges to get back in, into the state of Minnesota. So that's where I'm from. And uh, one bridge was closed and the other one was open. So it's like in the movies when you come up over the bridge and there's like 20 top cars sitting on there waiting for you. Yeah. So that's uh, when I got there, uh, cops, you know, and all jumped on us. Um, and then my buddy decided to say something uh, to the fact that I have a gun. So they pulled me to the window. And um, to this day, I'm still banned from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> and you were there to test for the back. Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah I, had to go, yeah, I had to go in there to test. And we tested real good on our test. Did so you we ever go to the Marines? Did you ever, did oh, you... yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, as a matter of fact, my recruiter had to come to court for me to, so that I could go in. <laughs> wow. Uh, they, I was going to serve about a year t in in jail, but since I was going to go in the Marine Corps, they, uh, they waived it. Well, Dale, all right. You stay huh. on hold. Maybe that's your I'll be like, hey, you can't arrest me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the Marine Corps. 
<laughs> okay. Maybe they should do that for a certain level of crime, where it's like instead of putting them in the, you know, the prison system. You want to fight? We're going to fight the enemy. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we're just going to go to the Marines or the Army or whatever. It's yeah. like, okay, it's, that's part of it. Get you some structure. In lieu of your sentence. How many people We're going to send that? you off to the core. Wow. Toughen you up. Make you appreciate authority. Respect it. Or it should be do like Israel. And then like everybody goes to the core for, Mandatory like, for two, two year? years before you go to college. How about that? Probably not a bad idea. No. Would you do it? Yeah, of course. You always wanted to be a Marine? Yeah. Especially when my brother was like, Shh, you couldn't handle it. And I was like, oh, please. I don't think you could. Uh, my brother did it. Yeah, but your brother, he seems like he's made for that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I could do it. Really? You think you could? Yes, think you could sir. have been a Marine? Sir, yes, sir. Really? Even back in the day when you were this skinny little girl? Oh, I mean, yeah, of course. But I got I got some good stamina. I could do it. I, I should do it. I, should <laughs> I don't leave. think they're taking you now. How dare you? No, I think there's, got, there's I a limit. Yeah, I think I'm way think it, above yeah. that. But I went to college, so it would automatically be, what, like a corporal or an officer or whatever the hell it is. Uh, officer Hamilton. A corporal or officer. I don't know. You, when you get out of college, you you don't just, I wouldn't I enter as a private. I think when you get out, out of college, you become a second lieutenant. All right. I think it's the lowest officer you can be. I don't even think a corporal is an officer. Mm. Right? I don't even know, because I didn't sure, go. I'm not sure either. <laughs> I have no idea. Why are you asking me? Do well, I you're look? wearing an army green shirt. I figured you'd you're be one the closest in the room we've to got, ask, Okay, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> All right. Next up in the band calls. No, not were you in the were you in the band? <laughs> it's banned from something. This couple was banned from Walmart over the weekend. They walked into a Minnesota Walmart wearing swastika face mask, and. Well, what are we doing? You're requiring us to wear a mask. It's like we're in a Nazi state. Uh, yeah, it's just like a Nazi state. Have you read any history I, about what that I, was I'm like? I'm sure she, that was probably her point. Uh, let's go to Venerick. Hello, Venerick. Yes. How you doing? We're you, good. You were banned from a white castle. Yes. What'd what? you do? It happened when I, well, it happened when I was in the military. I was in the army. And we were sitting by the window, and across the street from um, this white castle was a slave farm. The white man's house was sitting up front, and the N-word worker was sitting next to the house, and in a half circle was the field N-word workers. And we were so verbally um, explaining why you should, why do you have this in, you know, this type of house housing, you know. Um, present, like you want us to um, stay in our place. So um, we were we were banned from White Castle, and uh, when we got back to our, our unit, we got in trouble um, because of that as well. You're saying there was a slave house, and there were like decorations or actual people? No, you no, know, like it was like like a uh, a monument. Like got okay. It. You know, it's you know they turned they turned it into like an apartment complex, but it, you can clearly see that it was a slave farm. Oh Jesus! So yeah. and that pissed you off. And that was of about, course, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, pissed me off. Yeah, I was like 20 years old, and um, because I'm from Philly, and we were like, come on now, how can you how can you just stand here and let this be present? Like, uh, you want us to remind. Re- to rem- remember that we was uh, slaves at one time, Ugh. and don't forget it. Well, you were in a white castle. This a- <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a white castle. Get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. We was in a white castle. <laughs> well, thanks for your service, Venerick. That sucks that you had to deal with that, though. Th- thank you, Venerick. Yeah, I'm going to give you a prize, too. I'm going to give yeah. you one year VIP to HeidiandFrank.com, okay? Thank you so much. All right. But thank- Stay and hold. Sammy, hook you up. Damn. Uh, Tom was banned from Central Casting for flirting with a, uh, another extra too hard. Ooh, he was flirting too hard? That I mean, that must have been. That he's sounds a like, super creepy. That sounds like a Weinstein move. Yeah. Flirting too hard. Are you curious? I'm uh, really curious, yeah. Uh, how hard he went? <laughs> All right. Mm. Hey, Tom, tell us how hard you went on the flirting that you got kicked out of Central Casting. Hey, good morning. So, um, you know, a, a girl was uh, wanting a ride home. And I was an extra as well. And so uh, I gave her a ride. She was really 
uh, pretty sexy. And uh, so, you know, I offered, uh, well, I said I would like to, it would be my pleasure uh-huh. uh, to, uh, you know, go, uh, South go Honor. down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keep it clean. Yeah. And um, so she said, oh, you know, I've got a boyfriend. And I'm like, oh, all right. You know, dropped her off thinking that was the end of that. And um, so then I got a call from uh, Central saying, hey, you're uh, not going to work for us. And basically, if you don't work for Central, you don't you don't work. You know, work for anybody. Yeah. Yeah. So that was your go-to line, giving a woman a ride home. It's like, hey, uh, I could always go down on you. <laughs> and she says, well, uh, I have a boyfriend. Uh, and I have a boyfriend. And you're in the car alone with her. That was your that was your first pickup line. You move pretty fast. Well, yeah. You know, well, I mean, I she was pretty, you know, gung ho to get a ride from somebody. Yeah, but she I mean, I was kind go- of, I was overwhelmed. She was really like. Sexy. You know, delicious. <laughs> she just looked delicious. You're like, I'm hungry. I got to eat that. Oh, my wow. God. So what, what have you been doing for work since you got kicked out of Central Casting? <laughs> what, have you, what have you been doing? Oh, my gosh. So I went back to doing some process serving and uh, uh, just odd hey. jobs. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's too easy. Odd uh, jobs. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. All right, so, Tom, did that line ever work on any woman that you, <laughs> you were ever in contact with? You say, hey, you know, I could always go down south on you. Did anybody ever take you up on it? Um, After first mm, meeting them? No. No. <laughs> no. It's not a, uh, it just says a woman, I can Thank tell you, you that's Tom. not a, it, it's Thank more you, of a Tom. slow, slow game. You know, you got to build. No I woman's just out there Hey, going, thanks so much for the ride. You're welcome. You might, I mean, I could. I'll go downtown on you if you want me. If you uh, if, want me to, you don't do nothing to me. I'll just go downtown on you. Yeah, I mean, you look delicious. So, I mean, as a thank you for the As a ride, thank you for letting me give you a ride home, I'll just go downtown on you. I mean, if that's something. I mean, we can do it in the car or I, you can let me in. Or, Maybe that's where she was getting a ride. It was downtown. He thought it was an offer. Yeah. Hey, where do you want to go? Downtown. Well, you want to go downtown? Oh, me too. I can do that. I can take you downtown. Mm. He said it would be his pleasure. That's even creepier. How is it, it creepier would... to find get pleasure out of that? Of course no, you get pleasure out of if that. He, he said, it would be my pleasure to go downtown on you. <laughs> you don't find it pleasurable to go downtown on somebody? Yes, of course, but the Creep. proposal is even creepier. <laughs> I'd be my pleasure, my lady. She, he, she just got in the car with this Meaning guy. he's not expecting reciprocation. It'd be my pleasure just to do that. You don't have to pleasure me. That's, I'm already getting pleasure. And where are we doing that, sir? Am I am I just putting the seat back and then shimmying my jeans? It doesn't down matter as long as I. There, lo- you're trying to get. I mean, of course, what? don't. You're chubbing me up, just recreating the scene, Heidi. You just come on. Tell the over. story again. It's my pleasure. <laughs> you really are quite sexy. <laughs> Do you find me delicious? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, God, what? Sam, you remember the guy just offered to do that? I mean, as, as, a, as a instant pickup line? No, I don't think so. No. But it's one of those things where even if it did happen, you would shut it down so quickly that it wouldn't even register in your brain because it was never a real offer to you. So it's never really, it would never happen. You're saying there's not a woman out there who'd be offered that and take it. No. As opposed to the opposite, where it'd be a guy, Mm-mm. you know, getting a ride home. I'm going, hey, I'll go downtown on you. It'd be my pleasure. But like, okay. And then you shimmy your jeans down. <laughs> hey, should we do it right here so we can see back? I mean, we are in it. You are very different creatures. We are in it. You don't care when, where, how, why. And then it's like, thanks, see you later. Yeah. Hey, Didn't even see, get her name. see at the next uh, movie that we're extras in. And we can, I can give you a ride home again, winky, winky, because you know what that means. That's why I think glory holes were invented for men and not women. You never see a woman smashing up against a glory hole, do you? Like a sucker fish on the an aquarium. <laughs> Can you get in there? <laughs> Just get in there. Mm. Right. I mean, you never see that. You do don't you? see that. No. 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 But I guess in your world, Heidi, mm-hmm. that is a pickup line that probably is taken seriously. And even in my world, I've never been offered. Just are just, you kidding? Just me? meeting a girl, and she's like, "So That's hey, gotta um, be a lie. That's got to be a lie. Never. No one ever went. I can do that right now if you want. I'd be like, oh, wait, what? 
No. That's a lie. I've been to the I've events with you. I've never lied to you. Straight girls have come up to you and been like, let's do it. And I said, I totally No, do because it. they I'm want me out. to do it to them. They're like, I let you. I'm straight. This is my husband, Brian. Look, <laughs> I'm married. He's hot. But I would with you. You could do it to me if you wanted. I mean, yes, See, that's happened. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> but I've never had somebody offer to do that to me. They always want me to do that to them. Like, I got all the work. So what's worse? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Somebody going, I'll totally do that downtown on you for my pleasure. Or it's like, hey, go downtown on me. It'd be my pleasure if you go downtown on me. Nothing's Brian. in it for you. Just go downtown on me and let my allowed, husband Brian's Brian. going to watch. Brian. You're my one. You're my pass. Brian is not That's even Brian. worse than that story. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, let's see. So, yeah, Dale's been on hold a while. Go ahead and give Dale, who got banned from Wisconsin, give him a prize, too. The Marine got kicked out of Wisconsin. Uh, Victor banned for high school ter- terrorist threats. Oh, no. I mean, eh, I don't yeah. know. Uh, no, Aisha no. was banned from the military. Oh, damn. Javier was banned from Six Flags for getting caught having sex inside a closed ride. Hmm. And Devin, he was banned from the Buffalo Club in Santa Monica for climbing onto the roof and getting arrested. So, uh, wow. there you have it. There it is. Thank you, everybody, for your banned calls. Who knew? Well, uh, there are still calls coming in. Of course there the are. The audience we I've, have. I've met our people. All right, let's get a look at traffic, Aki.